elasticity to total cost. So what exactly we're going to do here is that we're going to find out what is the output elasticity to total cost. So let me just take you a little, uh, let, let us take a step backwards. What is MC measuring? That is del T C by del Q. It is measuring that if you're going to increase one unit of output, you're going to produce one more unit of output, how much is your total cost going to change, right? So, but the problem with MC is that this measure is not unit free. This measure is not unit free. So, let us say um, there are two forms. So, firm A is uh, producing X in US and firm B is producing Y in uh, whatever, India, right? So, when you write about the MC of firm A, MC of firm A is going to be what? Dollar per unit of X. Hmm? When you write MC for firm B, it is going to be what? Rupees per unit of Y. Hmm. So this is not a, a unit free measure. So elasticity is something which is going to be a unit free measure. Uh, so we can apply the definition of elasticity the definition of elasticity to obtain A unit free measure of how total cost changes in output. Total cost changes in output. So how do you write that? So output elasticity of total cost is what? That is the percentage change in the total cost upon the percentage change in the output. So how do you get the percentage change in total cost? Del TC upon TC into 100 upon Del Q upon Q into 100. You get like this? So basically what do you have? Del TC upon Del Q into Q by TC. <clears throat> and when the changes are very very small so you can write this in this way del tc by del q into q by tc so just i mean i can write small q capital q better when change in q is small when change in Q is small, right? Okay, fair enough. Now, how do you, how do you, uh, what do you call, uh, relate this with MC and AC? That's an idea. How do you relate this with AC and MC? 
डेल टी सी अपॉन डेल क्यू दिस इज नथिंग बट एम सी दैट इज ट्रू वॉट इज ए सी टी सी अपॉन क्यू so and here you have q upon tc so if you take the reciprocal so q upon tc would be equal to 1 upon ac you getting what i am up to so i'll write del tc by del q as mc and q upon tc as 1 upon ac so i can write like this mc into 1 upon ac no 1 upon ac could be written as on ac so your elasticity of total cost with respect to q it can very well be written as like this also what happens sorry <laughs> okay now it means what it means this that when your mc is greater than ac your etc that is your elasticity of total cost with respect to output is is greater than 1 so it means that the proportionate increase in total cost i mean total cost increases more than proportionally right to a 1% increase in output so let me just write that when mc is greater than ac is greater than 1 so total cost increases more than proportionally more than proportionally to a 1% increase in output to a 1% increase in output right similarly so what you guys could see now when mc is greater than equal to ac or greater than ac your etc q is going to be greater than 1 that means tc increases more than proportionally to increase in output that would mean that the percentage increase in tc is greater than percentage increase in output right okay when mc is less than ac etc q is less than 1 so total cost so it means what the percentage increase in uh, just just look at this when etc q is less than 1 then this will be what percentage change in tc would be less than percentage change in output so tc increases less than less than proportionally to a 1% increase in output a 1% increase in output and when mc is equal to ac <clears throat> when mc is equal to ac so total cost responds proportionally to a 1% increase in output <clears throat> etc q is equal to 1 total cost responds proportionally to 1% increase in output To one percent increase in output, right? 
Let's do one simple numerical, a very simple numerical. So <clears throat> Q is equal to, let's say this is FKL is equal to, let's say KL. So price of labor is W, price of capital is R. So let me just find out the output elasticity. But in order to do that, I need to get the total cost function first. So although you have done this earlier, but I'm just doing this. So you minimize WL plus RK. <coughs> subject to Q bar is equal to K. Right. So what do you do? Del L by Del L is W minus lambda K equals to zero. Del L by Del K R minus lambda L equals to zero. Yeah. And Del L by Del lambda is just Q bar minus KL equals to zero. I can just divide first by second. So W by R is equal to K by R. So K is equal to L into W by R, right? K is equal to L into W by R. Yes, I'll substitute this in the third expression. In place of L, I can write, uh, sorry, in place of K, I can write what? <clears throat> L W by R into L equals to 0. And I'm done. So Q bar equals to L square W by R. Or L square equals to R by W Q bar. Or L is equal to root of r upon root of w into root of q and a root of q bar so that is what my conditional input demand for labor this you have done in our earlier recordings we have done this beta what is going to be k i'll write my this thing root of r root of w root of q w upon r so you have what? Root of W upon root of R, root of Q. So this is going to be my demand for labor. So I'll substitute. This is the conditional input demand for labor. This is the conditional input demand for capital. So substitute. KC and LC. <coughs> In the objective function, to get the cost function, to get the cost function. So, W L C plus R K C L C is what root of R upon root of w root of q plus r kc root of w upon root of r into root of q Sanji beta so it is what this thing will become root of w so two root of w this is what root of w r q plus root of w r q we just have to root of wrq so what is your cost function 2 root of wrq now if i want to find out the elasticity what is that 
elasticity of total cost with respect to Q would be what? Del T C upon del Q into Q by T C. What is del T C by del Q? 2 root of WR upon 2 root of Q. Here you have what? Q. Here you have what? In place of TC, what you can write? Oh, -ho. in place of TC, you can write what? This. So, beta. This 2 2 cancels out. Root of WR, root of WR cancels out. Root of Q into root of Q becomes Q. So that cancels out. So ultimately, this comes out to be 1. So the idea is that the firm is going to increase its output by 1%. Total cost will increase by 1% for this question. So if the firm increases its output by 1%, its total cost also increased by 1%, right? So this is about the output elasticity with respect to total cost, right? Okay, thank you, Peter.